Is 90 days enough to turn a life around? And if not, where do you go next? Those are questions being asked in Steubenville as the city grapples with an increase in the homeless population. Being homeless is frustrating. Mm -hmm. you, don't, you don't know what's going to happen. You gotta wonder where your next meal is, where your next cigarette is, your next drink. Meet KK. He's been homeless in Steubenville since 2020. One of the biggest hurdles he's facing is getting a copy of his birth certificate. He applied more than 150 days ago, but he's still waiting with no luck. I've been homeless for four years. I didn't really need an ID, but I have a birth certificate and I'm from New York. And it's gonna take a while before I get my birth certificate. So I may be homeless. Without his birth certificate, KK can't get identification, he can't apply for housing, and he can't cash checks. Sometimes I feel like I want to cry, and sometimes I feel like I want to die. But I can't get nowhere, and like I don't exist. How can I, how can I get a check one day, and then there's no, they can't validate who I am? People experiencing homelessness face these kind of hurdles almost every day. In Steubenville, there is some help for the most vulnerable. The biggest and most well known is the Urban Mission. The mission has been around since the late 1950s. The organization operates three shelters as well as a thrift store and a food warehouse. With the government funding and what's required with it, the Urban Mission can only allow people to stay there from 30 to 90 days. When we uh, have folks that stay with us in our shelters, According to the state, they should stay with us for only 30 days. But we know that 30 days is not a lot of time to be able to get many different things in your life put together so that you can then go on and live on your own. So many times we extend our um, stay uh, periods of time up to 90 days. Now, once we reach that time period, um, the state begins to wonder why people are still staying with us. And so we have to be able to provide uh, not only the state with an explanation, um, but be able to, to help the individuals that are staying with us truly be able to um, uh, transition from wherever they uh, were staying in one of our shelters to hopefully a permanent situation. So where does that put people when they're no longer able to stay at the Urban Mission? That question has become a huge debate among different organizations in the city, many of whom are concerned that the number of homeless in Steubenville is growing too quickly and includes many from outside the area. I think that, you know, folks are going to have to, number one, you know, realize that there's a problem or an issue and then to identify that. It's not a one size fits all you know, but kind of looking and, you know, nobody can, you know, statistics, we can make them go in whatever direction. But the bottom line is here is, is that, you know, everybody can start to see, okay, there's a, there's a real issue. When I asked those that help the homeless where they believe the gap in services is, all were quick to point out a lack of transitional housing. That would be a temporary housing program that could help someone experiencing homelessness learn how to maintain permanent housing. A stay could be anywhere from a few months to a couple of years. They would go stay in another type of supportive living situation where it may be another year or maybe even two years uh, where they have uh, in-depth case management support, they have peer support, they have connections to resources, not just for the 30 or 60 or 90 days that they stay in a shelter, but long-term. Another great need, social workers who could help these folks with case management, emotional support, and advocacy. So at the Housing Authority, we, we are applying for the Ross Grant. Um, it's a federal grant that would provide social services within JMHA. It's a desperate need that we have, um, as Ashley just said, you know, that, that long-term case management piece, people get lost in the process, and, and that's something that we would like to be able to help fill that gap, at least in the housing portion. But in the meantime, many people who leave the mission are ending up living on the streets in the downtown area. It's a problem that has caught the attention of business owners, city councilors, and more, causing a rift between entities throughout the county. And while there is a need, no one seems to know the answer for a long-term solution. I, I wouldn't say it's so much a misunderstanding as maybe non-communication. And I think that that could fall on all of us for not communicating well together. Like you said, you know, our agencies, we work together all the time, so we know what we do. And other entities that don't work in the same line that we do, um, they they wouldn't understand. So I think it's more communication. So I think the more individuals that would attend the Homeless Coalition, um, the more ideas that we can have, the more solutions that we could come up with, 
um, and the, that's more people that we'll be able to serve. Both the Homeless Coalition and City Council members are calling on those involved to attend an upcoming coalition meeting in the hopes of getting everybody on the same page. I think the problem is it's like all the entities probably need to really sit down more together and try to figure out all the different steps and plus like an exit plan for these people. The people are being brought in from other parts of the Ohio, even other parts of the United States. If they're not originally from here, you brought them here, you help them to a point. If they're not able to stay here and function properly, then you need to help them get back to where they began, came from. So do you think it's fair to say that there is maybe like a common point that needs to be met by all these different organizations, the city and everybody else involved in this? Yes. I think that we need to collectively come together and have a community conversation. Um, I understand and I'm a firm believer that we have to help our most vulnerable, our poor and needy, but I think we need to start with our own residents first. Now that upcoming Homeless Coalition meeting is being held this Friday at 10 a.m. at the Towers Building in downtown Steubenville in Suite 705. If you can't attend in person, we have a link to join virtually on our website, WTOV9.com. And coming up tomorrow at 530, I'm asking officials at the local, state, and federal level how they can help. Hi, I'm Jamie Baker. Thanks for watching. Here's another video for you to watch, and please be sure to subscribe to our channel.